Oh, lovely smoke. Cob plug. Absolutely lovely. In some ways it's similar to Reaver, Reaver plug. It smells a little bit like it, although I think the Reaver is a little bit more attractive. It's got a little, more, bit, little, bit, little, little bit more chocolatey sort of smell to it, the, the Reaver. Only just though, just a little bit. But this is a beautiful plug. Same as the 1792. What? In some ways, a little bit harder to deal with. <coughs> Preparations a little bit harder being a plug than the 1792 flake. Yet, in some ways, it's its preparation and burning properties are more like a twist I find because sometimes it can be a little bit awkward to get going much like a twist like your ropes it's I always say it's like a bonfire it's like a bonfire on a wet day even when you've tried it out it can still be tricky at times you might find yourself messing about with it for three, four, five, six, seven, eight minutes, whatever. But the secret is not to give up. And eventually, what you do in the bowl, you seem to build up a little layer of ash with several relights, and then you just need to get the get the spike in or your spoon and just lift it and let a little bit of ash percolate down into the tobacco and eventually you'll just get the feeling that everything's right and it's happy much like starting a bonfire on a wet day you mess with it for ages but all of a sudden you think yes and it's away now and then all of a sudden you've got good smoke on your hands which this is so Galithol Garth Sam. Sam Gareth, it's all it's all old fashioned stuff and very much so with the plugs and the and the twists. Although some plugs can be okay. I've never had much trouble with with Reaver, although that was originally a Scottish one, it's only not that long ago been taken on by Gareth Holgarth. I usually find that fires up quite easily even without any airing but this one just benef benefits from a few hours drying time and it's lovely, lovely blend of Burley and, and Virginia, it's very nice something rich and satisfying about it and it's got the Tonka bean essence if anything it's a a smidgen sweeter than the, uh, the 1792 in this form anyway. 1792 is great as well but anything this might be a little bit deeper. Well if you don't want to mess about and just want to bang it in the 1792 tends to get fired up a little bit easier. <coughs> Although if you've got a bit of time, it's worth the effort with this. Very nice on a on a well I could say a stormy night, but actually it's gone dead calm at the mo mo at the moment outside, which is rather rather suspicious. Softened the calm before the storm here, and all of a sudden it's just gone all warm because the the weather warnings we've had this storm dudley. Well, that wasn't much at all. A few white horses on the on the beach, the waves, but nothing nothing massive. Not here anyway, in the northwest. But by all intents, this storm Eunice, she's going to be a beauty. They're even talking further down south of 
of red warnings, we've got an amber warning here for pretty high winds of, I don't know, 60, 70 mile an hour maybe which are sort of storm force, even into violent storm force get down down below us past South Wales and that it's I think they've given gusts for more like 80 and 90 which is virtually into hurricane force so if you look on the Beaufort scale so there's definitely going to be some damage done so it's not too bad sorry for the poor old birds as well because very often notice after bad notice after bad storms you get a, some injured birds that have been ripped out of trees in the night it's sad really it's nature though it's the way it goes it's the balance of things so yeah we'll uh, we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed that it's not too destructive when it comes but it's uh, by all intents and purposes it's going to be a humdinger not in the way we've got a high tide as well tomorrow pretty well pretty high coming in at midday so I might try and get some some photographs if I get a chance but it's uh, you never know what you're going to find when the tide comes in especially when it's got a howler behind it anyway guys I shall get on with my cod plug I wish you a good and safe evening take care I'll keep it smoky